Hey folks, ever heard of that old TV series from back in 65? Yeah, F Troop. It's a real gem if you're into some good old classic humor. Picture this a bunch of misfit soldiers, a clueless captain, and a Native American tribe in the Wild West. Sounds like a recipe for a laugh, right? Now, I bet you're wondering, what's the deal with this show? Well, buckle up because there's a load of funny, shocking, and even kind of sad stuff waiting for you. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Keep watching this video and you'll see what I mean. Now, I gotta ask you something. Is there a scene or a moment in F Troop that stuck with you? Maybe it's the goofy antics of the characters or a hilarious mishap. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. And speaking of memories, what's your most cherished moment related to this classic show? Drop it in the comments, we're all ears. So, there you have it F Troop, a blast from the past with a mix of laughter and surprises. Stay tuned for more fun facts, and don't forget to share your own experiences. Catch you in the comments, folks. F Troop, a TV series that started in 1965, left a lasting mark. Even though it's an old show, it still matters today. It's a funny series set in the Old West, where amusing things happen at a fort. The show mixed humor with Western themes, making it special. Despite running for only two seasons, its influence lasts a long time. People still enjoy watching it and laughing at the jokes. The characters and humor are still funny, proving that good stories stick around. F Troop is a classic that many people love, showing it's always enjoyable. Edward Everett Horton faced a battle with cancer, leading to a hospital stay in Glens Falls, New York. After weeks of medical care, he returned home to San Fernando, California, where he eventually passed away at 84 years old. Jamie Farr received recognition for his contributions to television when he was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This accolade was granted on April 10, 1985, and can be found at 2547 North Vine Street in Hollywood, California. Edward Everett Horton found his final resting place at Forest Lawn in Glendale, CA. His interment is in the Whispering Pine section, located at the top of the hill. These facts shed light on the personal and professional aspects of the individuals associated with the 1965 TV series. The challenges faced by Edward Everett Horton and the recognition bestowed upon Jamie Farr provide a glimpse into the lives beyond the screen. Larry Storch is best known for his role as CPL, Randolph Agarn alongside Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke. He made his final stand-up performance in Los Angeles in 2014. Five days later, he received his star on the Palm Springs Walk of Fame. The show featured appearances by Bernie Copel, Hank Garrett, Bob Burns, Ken Berry, and Marion Ross. Hank Garrett, who performed his own stand-up material, learned from Storch during their time together on Car 54. Where are you? Storch's early career was shaped by his time at the Comedy Store, where he made his first professional comedy appearance. Vic Tabak was interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park after his death. Jamie Farr, along with Michael Caine, Clint Eastwood, and Leonard Nimoy, served in Korea. In the world of entertainment, some actors form lasting partnerships that extend beyond their well-known roles. Two such actors, Forrest Tucker and Larry Storch, displayed a special chemistry that went beyond their time together on a popular show. They worked together on various projects, including a series that came before the well-known Ghostbusters films. Additionally, Storch's acting talents were evident in roles beyond his famous TV show, as seen in a TV movie adaptation of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. On the other hand, Lee Merriweather, known for her role in the same TV show, had close friendships with fellow actors from a different series, Batman. These connections among actors remind us of the interconnected nature of the entertainment industry and how collaborations can leave a lasting impact. Overall, the work and relationships formed by these actors continue to influence and inspire others in the field of entertainment. In the world of classic TV, the actors of a certain beloved show made their mark in various ways. But one actor known for the series is the parent of two children. Another actor was nominated for a prestigious award in 1967 but lost to a friend. Additionally, a third actor faced personal tragedy when they lost their infant son in the early 1960s. These actors, along with the rest of the cast, contributed to the lasting impact of their show. Lee Merriweather, alongside Frank Allater, parented actresses Kyle Allater and Leslie Allater. Meanwhile, Forrest Tucker portrayed a cavalry sergeant twice on television, assuming the role of Morgan O'Rourke in a notable 1965 series and later appearing in two 1970 episodes of Gunsmoke as Emmett Holly. Throughout its run, the series mentioned that Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke was a veteran of the Mexican War. However, it left unclear whether he or CPL, Randolph Agarn, participated in the Civil War. In the series, Jamie Farr was notable for his role. 
He served in the armed forces in Korea, which adds authenticity to his character. Interestingly, his dog tags worn on set were his actual issued set from his time in the army. Forrest Tucker, portraying a cavalry sergeant named O'Rourke, previously played a cavalry lieutenant in Flaming Feather with a character of the same name. Another cast member, Lee Merriweather, was interviewed in Tom Weaver's book, I Talked With a Zombie. These details provide insight into the actor's backgrounds and experiences. In the show, Old Charlie, portrayed by Harvey Perry, was known for his memorable entrance through the saloon doors. Despite his advanced age, many viewers mistook him for a young stuntman due to his acrobatic feats. Surprisingly, Perry was 65 years old at the time and had been a stuntman for nearly 45 years. Henry Gibson, another notable figure from the show, was laid to rest at Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles, California after his passing. Although the series garnered decent ratings, Forrest Tucker revealed that the production company decided to end it after just two seasons. They believed the show wasn't worth the significant space it occupied on the Warner Brothers backlot. Forrest Tucker, a well-known figure in entertainment, is remembered for playing Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke in a beloved Western spoof. Alongside Larry Storch and James Hampton, they brought joy to audiences with their memorable characters. Over time, the cast members said their goodbyes, with Larry Storch being the last survivor until he passed away on July 8, 2022, following James Hampton's departure on April 7, 2021. Beyond the show, Lee Merriweather had a special connection with actor Frank Allater, being his first wife. Their bond went beyond the screen, filling their lives with love and companionship. F Troop's spirit lives on in the hearts of fans, reminding us of the laughter and camaraderie it brought into our lives. F Troop remains a timeless classic, loved by generations for its humor and wit. The characters continue to inspire and entertain, leaving a lasting impression on TV history. The memories created by the cast and crew will always be cherished, reminding us of the joy found in laughter and friendship. In the early stages of his career, Don Red Berry caught the attention of Hollywood legends John Wayne and Mickey Rooney during a game where his team faced off against UCLA. Despite his team's loss, Berry's playing skills impressed Wayne and Rooney, who offered him assistance in breaking into the movie industry. Rooney even secured Barry a role in the film Boy's Town, though his inability to deliver lines effectively led to his replacement by director Victor Fleming during a scene with Spencer Tracy. Jamie Farr, the only son of Lebanese immigrant Samuel and Jamelia Farah, hailed from a background far removed from the glitz of Hollywood. His parents worked as a meat cutter and grocer and a seamstress, respectively. Interestingly, the iconic hill scene in the background during F Troop's opening credits would later gain fame as Walton's Mountain from the Waltons. Both series were filmed on the Warner Brothers Ranch. Television has seen some talented actors make their mark over the years. Ken Berry, originally from Moline, Illinois, appeared alongside Dorothy Van on Mama's Family. Edward Everett Horton, known for his roles in various movies, also appeared in F Troop. Jamie Farr, known for his funny performances, has a golf tournament named after him, the Jamie Farr Owens Corning Classic, which used to be called the Jamie Farr Kroger Classic. These actors have all left their mark on entertainment, each bringing their own special talents to the screen. In Fort Lee, NJ, Mayor Mark Sokolik honored him as mayor for a day, acknowledging his influence and presence in the local community. He was recognized with the 2013 Barrymore Award for Lifetime Achievement in Film and TV from the Fort Lee Film Commission. Beyond his work in entertainment, he was also honored for his service during World War II, receiving a Distinguished Service Medal. He was even made an honorary citizen of Passaic NJ, highlighting his significance beyond the world of entertainment. During an interview, he shared a funny story about Forrest Tucker, a friend known for his strength. Forrest Tucker is the strongest guy I know he laughed. He could pick himself up and throw himself across the room. Stories like this show his sense of humor and the close bonds he formed during his career. His influence continues to inspire future entertainers and veterans. From his humble beginnings to his lasting impact, his story shows resilience, dedication, and the power of storytelling. This glimpse into his life only scratches the surface of the impact he had on others and the industries he worked in. Truly, his memory lies on in the hearts and minds of those who knew him. Chief Wild Eagle and the Hecaws had a knack for nicknaming and they often dubbed Captain Wilton Parmenter as the Great White Pigeon. On different occasions, he was also hailed as the Scourge of the West or simply Mr. Nice Guy. Ken Berry, a notable figure in the series, faced a personal tragedy with his first wife, Jackie Joseph. In 1962, the couple lost their infant son, Joseph Larson Berry. 
His final resting place is at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills, California. Jackie Joseph, an integral part of the F Troop cast, shared a friendship with Joanne Worley. These behind the scenes insights shed light on the dynamics among the cast members and the personal challenges they faced. The nicknames Chief Wild Eagle bestowed upon Captain Parmenter add a touch of humor to the series, while the personal struggles of the actors bring a human aspect to the forefront. Born on November 3, 1933, Ken Berry shared a birthday with his co-star Anna de Corsout from The Andy Griffiths Show and Mayberry RFD. Meanwhile, Forrest Tucker, father of Brooke Tucker, was also part of the F Troop cast. Additionally, Jamie Farr, who portrayed a character in M.A.S.H., holds the title of the oldest living regular cast member after the passing of William Christopher. That wraps up some interesting facts about the cast members. In the world of entertainment, actors bring unique qualities to their roles, creating memorable experiences for audiences. Ken Berry and Melody Patterson shared the screen, despite a significant age gap. Jamie Farr's life story added depth to the series, while Edward Everett Horton, famous for narrating fractured fairy tales, brought his talents to the show. Together, their diverse backgrounds and talents made F Troop entertaining for viewers. Their individual contributions blended to make the show enjoyable and unforgettable. In the 1965 TV series, a notable cast member was Frank Decova, who despite being Italian, would rehearse and memorize lines in Italian before filming. Jackie Joseph, interviewed in Tom Weaver's book, Science Fiction and Fantasy Film Flashbacks, also contributed to the show's legacy. Edward Everett Horton, known for his roles in several Oscar Best Picture nominees, added his talent to the series. His notable film appearances include The Front Page, The Gay Divorcee, Top Hat, Lost Horizon, and Here Comes Mr. Jordan. Each of these actors brought their unique skills to the production, enriching the viewing experience for audiences of the time. In early 2019, Larry Storch received an honorary title as a friar at the New York Friars Club. Don Redberry, feeling miscast as Red Rider due to his stature, expressed his discomfort with the role. The characters in the series were named after mythological figures Captain Wilton Parmenter's family included relatives named Achilles, Hercules, Jupiter, and Thor. This added a unique touch to the show's character dynamics. Each actor brought their own perspective to their roles, contributing to the show's distinct charm. The show's blend of humor and clever writing ensured its lasting popularity among audiences. Its characters and storylines continue to resonate with viewers, making it a timeless classic. Melody Patterson, at just 16 during her audition, didn't expect to land the role. She and her mother kept her real age hidden until just before shooting began. Surrounded by seasoned actors, she felt a mix of excitement and nervousness as she stepped onto the set. Ken Berry, a close friend of Carol Burnett and Andy Griffith, was a familiar face there. Despite her youth, Melody quickly proved her talent and earned the respect of her castmates. Jamie Farr, known for his role, also shared the set with her. Interestingly, he had an older sister named Yvonne Farah. As filming progressed, the camaraderie among the cast grew, making the experience unforgettable for Melody and shaping her career in ways she hadn't imagined. This fascinating behind-the-scenes dynamic added depth to the iconic show. Indeed, the stories from the set of F Troop remain timeless treasures in Hollywood's history, providing a glimpse into the world of classic television. Henry Gibson appeared in four films recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural significance, The Nutty Professor, The Long Goodbye, Nashville, and The Blues Brothers. Larry Storch, known for his impressions, left high school at 17 to perform at a strip joint after his principal suggested he pursue a different path. Wild Eagle, a character on the show, belonged to the Heka tribe, named after an incident involving two Indians falling off a cliff. The original tribe named Fuga was rejected by censors. In the show, characters often had to follow funny and strange directions, making things even more amusing. For example, they might be told to turn right when they see a rock that looks like a bear, only to be told later to turn left when they see a bear that looks like a rock. These odd instructions added a playful sense of confusion to the story, keeping viewers entertained. Such funny parts made the show special, and it's still loved by many people today. So, F Troop's mix of silly jokes and clever writing made it a classic comedy that people remember and enjoy for a long time. In a surprising twist, one sad fact about the series revolves around its lead actor. Unfortunately, he faced personal struggles after the show ended, battling depression and substance abuse, which led to his untimely passing. Set in the 1860s, the show humorously portrays the misadventures of a group of U.S. cavalry soldiers stationed at Fort Courage. 
Led by a bumbling captain, the troop often finds itself in absurd situations due to their incompetence and the scheming efforts of the Hakawi Native American tribe. The series cleverly blends slapstick comedy with satire, poking fun at stereotypes and historical inaccuracies. With a memorable cast of characters, including Sergeant O'Rourke, Corporal Agarn, and Crazy Cat, it garnered a dedicated fan base during its run. Although criticized for its portrayal of Native American characters, the show remains a significant part of television history. Despite its short-lived tenure, its comedic impact continues to entertain audiences through reruns and DVD releases. In a short-lived television series from 1965, a significant mishap occurred during filming, causing the loss of a large portion of the original footage. This incident created major challenges for the cast and crew who had to redo scenes and salvage what was left. Despite the setback, they managed to finish the series, showing resilience in the face of adversity. The creators of the show faced unexpected difficulties, but didn't give up. They worked hard to overcome the loss of footage and complete the series. This event reminds us that making TV shows can be unpredictable and risky. Despite the tough times, the team showed determination and adaptability, turning a tough situation into a memorable part of TV history. In an unexpected turn, the 1965 TV series experienced a major shakeup when one of its main actors, Ken Berry, abruptly left after the first two seasons. Fans of the show were left shocked by his departure, as he played a central role as Captain Parmenter. His exit caused a noticeable shift in the series' dynamic, leading to challenges in keeping up the initial excitement. After Barry's departure, the show struggled to maintain its momentum. Despite attempts to introduce new characters and storylines, the absence of Captain Parmenter left a void in the ensemble cast. This period highlighted the difficulty of keeping a successful series going without key characters. Despite the challenges, the show continued to entertain audiences with its blend of comedy and Western-themed antics. It managed to keep a dedicated fan base and remains a beloved classic in television comedy. Through reruns and DVD releases, it has secured its place in television history as a memorable depiction of frontier life. In an unexpected twist, a lesser known fact about a popular TV series from 1965 is that it lasted only two seasons before being abruptly canceled. Despite its initial popularity, the show faced challenges leading to its early end, leaving fans disappointed. The series was set in the Wild West and followed the comedic misadventures of a group of incompetent soldiers stationed at Fort Courage. The chemistry among the cast, especially between the bumbling captain and the scheming sergeant, was a highlight of the show's humor. Beyond its comedic tone, the series also explored themes of friendship, loyalty, and the absurdities of war, offering viewers a light-hearted yet insightful look into life on the frontier. In its prime, the F Troop show faced a tragic event that deeply affected one of its actors. Behind the scenes, the actor who played Chief Wild Eagle experienced a personal loss when his wife unexpectedly passed away during production. Despite his grief, he stayed committed to his role, showing professionalism by delivering his lines and keeping the show's humor alive. His ability to carry on amidst such sorrow highlights his dedication as an actor. The incident serves as a reminder that real-life challenges can impact those involved in creating entertainment, even in a light-hearted show like F Troop. The resilience he showed after the tragedy adds depth to the series, showcasing the strength of those behind its success. Ultimately, F Troop continued its run with its comedic spirit intact, but the adversity faced by the actor remains a solemn chapter in the show's history. During its production, tragedy struck when one of the actors in the series unexpectedly passed away. He was known for his role as Chief Wild Eagle, and his untimely demise cast a somber mood on the set. Despite its comedic tone, the show explored serious topics like cultural misunderstandings and life on the frontier. It balanced humor with insightful storytelling, offering viewers a rich viewing experience. The portrayal of Native American characters was a standout aspect of the show, providing a nuanced look at their interactions with settlers during westward expansion. Characters like Chief Wild Eagle highlighted the challenges indigenous peoples faced during that period. The ensemble cast brought each character to life authentically, from the clumsy Captain Wilton Parmenter to the cunning Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke. Their performances contributed to the enduring popularity of the show. Although it had a short run, the series left a lasting impression on television history, captivating audiences with its unique blend of humor and social commentary. It continues to connect with viewers today, reminding us of the timeless appeal of classic television. In one memorable episode, 
A stunt involving a cannon went tragically wrong, resulting in the death of a stuntman. The incident sent shockwaves through the entire cast and crew, leaving them utterly devastated and shaken to the core. It was a stark reminder of the inherent dangers of their profession, where even the most meticulously planned stunts could go awry in an instant. The loss of their colleague weighed heavily on everyone involved, and it sparked a profound reassessment of safety protocols on set. From that moment on, there was a renewed commitment to ensuring the well-being of every member of the production team, with rigorous safety measures implemented to prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again. This incident served as a poignant reminder of the risks they faced each day in pursuit of their craft, underscoring the importance of prioritizing safety above all else on the set of F Troop. The resilience of the cast and crew was evident as they came together to honor their fallen comrade and forge ahead with their work but the memory of that tragic day would forever linger as a somber reminder of the fragility of life in the world of entertainment. In a twist of fate, one of the most saddening facts about the series is its abrupt cancellation after only two seasons, leaving both the cast and fans disheartened with hopes for a longer run. The TV show, set in the Wild West, offered a unique blend of humor and historical parody following the misadventures of the Hikawi tribe and soldiers of Fort Courage. It humorously highlighted the clash between the military establishment and indigenous peoples, providing a fresh perspective on the often romanticized narratives of the Old West. Featuring memorable characters such as the bumbling Captain Wilton Parmenter and the scheming Sergeant Morgan O'Rourke, the ensemble cast contributed to the show's comedic brilliance. Despite its short run, it left a lasting mark on television history, earning a dedicated fan base and securing its place in pop culture. Even decades after its cancellation, the show continues to be fondly remembered by viewers who grew up watching it. In conclusion, while the TV series may have had a brief tenure on screens, its humor and charm have endured through the years, making it a beloved classic among fans of comedy and westerns alike.